Hello Formula 1 fanatic. In this video I want to show you my custom setup for my Rosso F1 steering wheel. For this setup I use two software programs called SP Mapper and Slimax Manager 2. I will explain a little bit more about the Slimax Manager 2 software later on in this video. First let's start with the Rosso F1 steering wheel itself. This handmade steering wheel is made of carbon fibers and aluminium magnesium alloys and is compatible with Logitech G25, G27 wheels and a lot of other well-known steering wheels. The wheel features adjustable shift and clutch pedals, 12 buttons, 5 rotary switches with 12 positions, 2 thumb rotary encoders and last but not least a multifunctional display called Sleep Pro. The multifunctional display is the heart of the steering wheel. It can show various data including shift points, gear, speed, curves, brake temperatures, etc. Furthermore, time info such as current lap time, best lap time, last lap time, sector times, session time, time differences between best and current lap, etc can also be displayed. The Slip Pro also features 30 LEDs used as rev lights, 6 additional LEDs plus 3 additional LED indicators at the bottom of the wheel. Additional LED indicators can be used for warning and various indications as for example low fuel, DRS, optimal shift points, power, traction control, rev limits, etc. The latest version of the Rosso F1 steering wheel features an electrical quick-release steering bus. The cable you see here is no longer there. Installing and using the software for the Rosso F1 steering wheel is very easy, so I won't go into further detail now. I will show you my custom setup for Codemasters F1 2012, which only shows you some of the possibilities. The Rosso F1 steering wheel and the Slimax Manager 2 software can of course be used and customized with a lot of racing games. This video is made by using version 2.2.4 of the software. At the end of this video I will provide the web links to the Slimax Manager 2 software, SP Mapper and the Rosso F1 steering wheel. Please take note that I do not support or deliver any hardware or software that you have seen in this video. If you have questions please contact the websites involved. An important issue for me was that I could play Codemasters F1 2012 by making only use of the pedals, buttons, rotary encoders and rotary switches on my steering wheel, so that no keyboard was needed. Let me show you my custom setup in detail. So in detail let's start with the buttons. Curves button, DRS button with LED activation, Fuel map tires and brake selector, main menu selector, rear view, F2 and F3 functions for replay, escape and enter as main buttons. The thumb rotary encoders are used for pause and replay, camera change and status. Then something about the switches, the lift display switch, speed, lapse completed speed, fuel speed, position speed, sector speed, curse speed, laps completed of total laps, brake temperatures and distance traveled. For the right display panel we have best lap time, last lap time, current lap time, the real time versus your best time, the real time versus your last time, system time, Time elapsed, current sector, your position, curves, DRS, and engine RPM gear. Now let's go for some quick laps on the circuit of Hungary. To see the Rosa F1 steering wheel, the Slimax Manager 2 software, and myself in full action. This time I will keep my mouth shut. Thank you for watching this video.